Hello friends, welcome back to Tech Freak Gamers. Let me first apologize for my English. I am trying to reach out to as many people and fellow gamers as I can. So please bear with me. In today's video, I will help you all with making a complete gaming setup within the budget of Rs. 80,000. It will not just be a CPU but will also include monitor, mouse, keyboard and other mandatory components. Before we proceed, let me set expectations. This setup is not a super high-end gaming setup, rather it is a complete gaming setup for mid to entry high level gaming. Like the topic says, the budget for this setup is around 80,000 and we have included you know, all the other parts. So the CPU price would cost around Rs. 60,000. So let's get started. Processor. We have chosen the i5-75007 Gen that is KB Lake architecture best processor to carry our setup with its mighty 3.8 GHz servo boost. This processor comes with a 14nm FinFET pin and with TDP or power consumption of around 65 watts. It has a base clock speed of 3.4 GHz and can uh, which can go up to 3.8 GHz with the Turbo Boost technology. It has 4 physical cores since it is an i5 processor, it doesn't include the hyper threading technology so it means the number of threads is the same as the number of physical cores that is 4 cores and 4 threads. Uh, and I have seen description section uh, in some online stores which say that this processor includes hyper threading which is incorrect. I would request you guys not to be misled by such incorrect descriptions. Do your research your background check before you make a call. This processor will cost you around Rs 18,000 in online market. I would always recommend you to purchase this from the local stores rather than ordering it from the online store because you can get this processor at around 16 to 17,000 rupees in the local market. The next thing is motherboard. I have chosen Gigabyte's GA B250M DS3H motherboard. This motherboard supports Intel's 7th gen and 6th gen processor out of the box and comes with 4 sockets supporting dual channel DDR4 RAMs. It comes with smart fan 5 feature, multiple temperature sensors and hybrid fan headers. With this you can interchange the fan headers to reflect different thermal sensors at different locations on the motherboard. This is water cooling friendly and also a VR ready motherboard. So in future if you wish to upgrade your setup for quality VR gaming this will definitely do the job. This motherboard is available in Indian market at around Rs 8000. Coming into the graphics cards. We have chosen the mighty 10 series NVIDIA's GTX 1060 3GB DDR5. Before we get into the specification of this card, here is something you might want to know. Since we all are aware that debate between best graphics card is huge, especially after the launch of Nvidia's 10 series and AMD's X series cards. So I went through several benchmarks to give a final verdict. If we keep out the games which are either AMD centric or Nvidia centric and test the benchmarks of these new lineup cards on all the other games, you can arrange these cards in the following way as per their performance. Hitting the top of the list will be GTX 1080, then comes GTX 1070, then RX 480, then comes GTX 1060 reference or 6GB version, then comes GTX 1060 3GB version which is equal to RX 470, then comes GTX 1050 Ti, then RX 460, then GTX 1050. As our center of discussion is GTX 1063 GB, you must know GTX 1063 GB is completely different from its reference 6 GB variant. I feel the reason behind this version is Nvidia wanted to cover the 15 to 20 thousand budget area in Indian market or which is equivalent to 200 dollar budget area in international market. Obviously, the VRAM has been reduced to half, that is from 6GB to 3GB, but this isn't the only key differentiating factor, but NVIDIA has also disabled one of the GP106 GPU's 10 streaming processor, which is why the CUDA cores have been reduced to 1152 from 1280. With these changes, you might see around 8-9% to of performance difference. Even then, for a price range of Rs 17,000, it is definitely the best you can get. So the Jotax GTX 1063GB is available in Indian market at around Rs 17,700. For RAM, we have paired the Corsair Vengeance Series 8GB DDR4 RAM with a clock speed of 2400MHz. You will get this at around Rs 4500 and there is nothing better than this at this price range. 
Coming into the hard disk, we have considered getting WD's 1TB Caviar Blue 7200 Opium variant which costs around Rs 3700 and is one of the best selling and most used and trusted hard disk ever. Now coming to the power supply unit, we have decided to pair this setup with Corsair's VS series VS650 which is a 650 watt power supply unit and delivers nothing less than what is expected from such a brand. This costs you around Rs 4500. So now that we have finished gathering the entire CPU, let's get a perfect case for it. I have chosen my all time favorite Thermal Flex Versa N26 cabinet and it is a gorgeous cabinet for aesthetics like me. It doesn't give you a rough and tough look but rather a majestic look which anyone will fall for. This mid tower chassis can support up to 80x boards. It comes with a pre-installed 120mm rear fan and you can get 4 more 120mm fans to sit them at the top and the front panel of the cabinet. This is priced at around Rs. 3800 in Indian market. Coming into the monitors, with such a beautiful you know, build, you we cannot afford to bargain on the monitor. So we have chosen one of the most loved and most preferred gaming monitors, the BenQ RL2455HM. It isn't lovely only because of its looks, but it packs some of the very interesting features, especially the response time. It comes with 1 millisecond response time. Apart from that, it has inbuilt speaker so you can use it without using external speaker. Although you cannot expect the best sound quality out of it, but still it does the job. Also it has two HDMI ports so you can simultaneously use your console and PC at the same time. Now, this is priced at around Rs 14,500 in our markets. For keyboards, we have added Asus Cerberus Gaming Keyboard. If you are looking for an ultra durable and awesome gaming keyboard, this is meant for you guys. Unlike other brands, in this range it is more durable, strong and also splash proof. If you have spilled any drinks over it, chill out because it will drain it out from the hose behind the keyboard. Now this is backlit in two colors, blue and red and also has 12 dedicated and easy to reach macro keys. This will cost you around Rs. 3000. Now for mouse, we have chosen the Logitech G402 Hyperion Fury. The best thing about Logitech mice is I have never seen anyone complaining about their build quality and durability. Unlike Razer's Death Adder, which I have seen many of my friends having left click button issues after using it. Here are some key, key features this mouse includes. It comes with a total of 8 programmable buttons and has a response rate of 1 millisecond. You can program the DPI to shift within a range of 240 to 4000. And yes, you can program it uh, to happen while gaming. This also boosts a 32-bit ARM processor. Cool, isn't it? Finally, the mouse pad. Since we have got such a beautiful mouse, uh, we need a great pad to rest it on. So we have chosen the gamer's favorite SteelSeries QCK mouse. Uh, I have been using this uh, since quite a long time and I, have, I, found, I can find no reason to change it. Although it might get dirty after being used for a couple of years, but taking care of this can definitely make it last longer. Now this pad is 280mm wide and 320mm long and 6mm high, which is a perfect fit for a medium sized mouse pad. Although I have found online stores selling this at around Rs 1200 rupees, but still series website sells it at 14.99 euros, which is equal to 1000 rupees. Now this completes our 80,000 rupees complete gaming setup. With this build, 1080 gaming is a charm and you can also try out 1440 gaming at low to medium settings. I hope you like this build and consider it if you wish to make a gaming PC in the budget. And also if you need help in purchasing PC components from Hyderabad, I have some good reference who can offer the cheapest market price. So do let me know. So that's all for today and before I sign off, friends, if you like this video, please hit the like button and please, please, please subscribe to my channel. So see you guys in my next video. Till then, bye-bye and take care. This is Tech Freak Gamers signing off.